Hey everyone, welcome back to our Meet the Sections video series. I'm Tyler McKay, one of the chief residents. Today we're going to give you an overview of our nuclear medicine section. Uh, we're standing here again, second floor Smilo North, uh, North Pavilion uh, at the main radiology core. So let's go on back. All right, so now we're within the main nuclear medicine core. Uh, we're going to take a walk down the hall. On this side of the hall, we have all of our injection rooms. This is where we do the treatments, where we administer radiopharmaceuticals, um, and where patients um, you know, get consented if they need a procedure or any type of thing like that. Okay, let's go on into the reading room and uh, meet some of the trainees and mm -hmm. attendees. I wanted to say a quick uh, hello and say, uh, give an order to the reading room. So we have eight workstations in this reading room. Um, the way it's broken down is there's sort of a half, um, you know, half is for general nuclear medicine, half is for pet CT. Because we have such a large pet volume, um, we do tend to have a little bit more trainees on the pet side of things. Um, so in a general workday, there's one trainee rating um, general, general nuclear medicine with an attending, and two to three trainees uh, reading uh, pet CTs. Um, with, with a dedicated attending. Um, we can say a quick hello to Faize. Hi. Faize. How's it going? It's good. Um, what are you doing today? How's the rotation been? So I'm uh, an R3. It's uh, my second week of PET uh, this year. Um, it's a great uh, rotation. We learn a lot and we see lots of different pathology here at Smile Cancer Center. Uh, we have a large volume of different oncologic uh, PET scans for different diseases. We also get PET scans for infections, for uh, um, prostate and different uh, with different radio tracers. So I love it here. It's been a great place. Uh, the thing that I like the most about uh, being a resident here at Yale is um, the, are the people. They're really nice um, and very supportive of what you want to do and what you want to get out of your residency training. Uh, there are lots of opportunities for research in different sections with um, lots of um, research centers, multidisciplinary projects with other clinical uh, and you services. You presented a couple yeah, I, as well, right? Yeah, um, and one of the things that I noticed during my interview here at Yale was a great conference policy we had uh, that gives you um, financial support and also time off to present at different conferences. Um, so I used that opportunity um, both as first year and second year and presented in multiple conferences um, and it was a great experience. Um, this year with COVID this is a little bit different. <laughs> Lots of conferences are virtual but even for uh, some of the conferences this year that were virtual, um, people who had presentations or were interested in attending those conferences, they could um, have protected time to participate in those conferences. So I love it here. It's a great place to learn and to find great uh, friends and people. So. Janetin uh, had to step away. She's on general nuclear medicine right now. She's also one of our nuclear medicine pathway residents. Uh, so we have two of our residents who are doing the dedicated ABR um, nuclear medicine pathway. So throughout their residency, they do 16 months of nuclear medicine. That allows them to sit for the ABR um, nuclear medicine board without having to do any additional training. So it's one of the unique things that we're able to offer trainees here. Um, okay, now we'll go down this way. We'll just say, Quick hello to Dr. Saperstein, who's depending on for general nuclear medicine. He's also the section chief uh, for nuclear medicine. Um, maybe you could quickly just say, summarize kind of how you got to Yale and how your experience has been. Um, I've been at Yale for seven years as the uh, section chief of uh, nuclear medicine. It's been a great experience. Uh, I think some of the residents told you we have a tremendous uh, volume of uh, general nuclear medicine cases and. Uh, my favorite part, which is PET CT, and we uh, you know we do uh, many many cases each day, and the residents are very involved with, uh, with reading the scans and uh, discussing the findings. So I, I think it's a overall really nice place to work, and I really enjoyed uh, the section. Okay, 
Another part of nuclear medicine is therapy. So we do treat a lot of patients with thyroid cancer and prostate cancer. And a particularly exciting field of uh, nuclear medicine is called theranostics, where we do uh, therapy and diagnostics. And uh, we treat patients uh, with uh, agents that go to the same binding sites as imaging agents. However, we change the isotope, so it's a therapeutic agent. So that's really an exciting new field of uh, nuclear medicine. Uh, we're at the forefront of that, so I'm very happy to, to say that. We've recently established a molecular uh, imaging clinical laboratory, and uh, we'll be doing cutting-edge uh, clinical trials and clinical research, and uh, there are many opportunities for trainees to get involved with that on, on all different levels. So it's pretty exciting. But looking forward to meeting you virtually, and uh, if you have any questions, obviously feel free to reach out to me. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Dr. Saperstein is going to give us a quick tour of some of the facilities I, here. So uh, the nice thing about nuclear medicine is that everything is in this one area in the hospital. This is where the technologists sit. And we have six gamma cameras to do all of our general nuclear medicine imaging. Hot lab down at the end. Hot lab at the end. Another gamma camera and another gamma camera. So that's for general nuclear medicine. We also do a lot of PET CT. We have three PET CT scanners here. This is sort of my, oh, there's someone in here right now, but this is a state of the art MCT scanner. We can come into the uh, room where the technologists sit and you can see this is Dave, our lead tech. This is the Siemens MCT, and it's a really incredible machine. Very fast, high-resolution images, really a state-of-the-art machine, and we have two more PET CTs over here. So we really have a tremendous amount of uh, PET CT volume and uh, pathology. So. All right. All right. Cool. Hey, you know, this is the spec CT. You can take a picture of that. So this is a uh, SPECT CT gamma camera. It combines the nuclear medicine image with a CAT scan. We fuse the images together to get a sort of a functional and anatomic image. So very helpful. All right. Here's where we have our nuclear medicine hot lab. This is where we prepare all the radiopharmaceuticals. As a first year trainee, you'll get uh, dedicated time to work with the techs learning how they prepare the technetium and all the other um, medications that we administer for the study. And then over here we have a patient waiting area. It's sort of closed down somewhat from COVID times, but for certain studies that um, require a dwell time for the radiopharmaceutical, patients could come here uh, while they wait for to, to be ready for the study. Uh, so there you have it, a quick overview of our nuclear medicine section. As a first year, you'll start off reading just general nuclear studies. Another part of that is there's a large clinic population. You'll get all of your um, radioiodine therapies done within the first year. Um, there's a very, very robust um, thyroid clinic here from treatments to diagnostic scans, as Dr. Saperstein was also mentioning. Uh, then as a second and third year, you'll do core rotations through PET. Um, we again have a very, very robust uh, PET volume here, so you um, will be very proficient at reading those. Additionally, in the fourth year, we send um, residents over to uh, the VA hospital where we do a general nuclear medicine rotation, uh, incorporating all of the general nuclear medicine with the PET uh, and cardiac studies uh, combined into one. Um, we didn't show it in this video, but we do also uh, have a rotation through cardiac nuclear medicine. Um, that's predominantly run by the cardiology service. However, we do send trainees over there for two, to, two weeks during their rotation. Uh, sorry, during their, their training here, uh, just to get that experience and be ready for boards uh, and be ready for any type of study that you might read in practice. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.